I want to show you how to properly uh, use uh, a mask and the indications for using a mask. Uh, number one, it's always important to understand uh, that social distancing, staying six feet from one another, as well as good height, hand hygiene uh, are the mainstays of preventing infection uh, spread. But if you are sick uh, or you're taking care of somebody that is sick, uh, the recommendations are that you use a mask. And so this is how you do that. Uh, with your mask, you're gonna grab the, the corners. Um, and these ones have loops, uh, rubber bands that are gonna go around the ears. And so you, you put the mask over your nose and chin and put the loops around your ears, taking care not to really touch the front of the mask, if you, especially if you haven't washed your hands recently. And then so you, you're gonna you know, potentially make it a little bit more fit so that you, you minimize the amount of air that can uh, come in from the sides and the tops. Um, and these masks aren't, they're not you know, hospital grade, so they're not gonna have you know, wires that are gonna seal off everything, and they're not N95 masks. They're mostly designed really to prevent you, me, from infecting others. And that would be coming from my own breath, uh, droplets in the air from me coughing, and things like that. It prevents the spread from me to others, either uh, through the air or especially on the surfaces where the, the virus can live for up to a couple days. Uh, and so you're gonna go about your business as you need to with the mask on, uh, taking care of that entire time not to be touching the front of the mask. And then when you're done, what you wanna do is wash your hands. You're gonna take your, uh, the loops off of the mask, taking care of you not to touch the front of the mask or have it be flopping around and, and hitting things. You can hang it up uh, for potential reuse, depending on how you know used the mask is, and then you're going to wash your hands one last time, and that's it.